All right, budget magic time. Playing some blue red summonings in modern, and this hand's really bad. We gotta ship that one. Okay, this hand is good if we find blue mana. Uh, not remand. I guess it's good if we find any mana because desperate ravings will hopefully find us mana we need. Well, let's see. Goblin guide actually is kind of okay. It gives us extra shots at lands. Oh no. <laughs> Another Desperate Ravings. That's not encouraging. Well, play the mountain, pass the turn. Hmm. Maybe we should have went to five here. If we hit a land, we might still be okay. Ideally blue, but any land. Is this mono red burn? Oh, another Goblin Guide? Oh, Lord. No. And a Swift Spear. That is a lot of damage. Opponent attacks with everything. There's an island. And a mountain. Then we can bolt a goblin guide. Take three. Come on, more burn spells. Temporal Trespass is a ways off. Well, that's just Island and Desperate Ravings, I think. We're kind of okay with discarding pretty much anything in our hand. And this digs us deeper than Serum Visions. We mostly need to find more bolts. Um, maybe Electrolyze. With our luck, we'll probably discard this mountain that we desperately need. <laughs> What does Goblin Guide reveal? Uh, there's Electrolyze. All right, so we take some damage. Ooh, this could be a Tarkus command coming down by the looks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. If this is a Tarkus command, yep, that is a Tarkus command, and we can't counter it. All right, down to six. Well, let's desperately rave. Discard the Temporal Trespass. Play a Mountain. I mean, our only realistic hope is to electrolyze Goblin Guide and hope our opponent's hand is just all lands. But we're dead to many, many things. Opponent goes attacking. Goblin Guide reveals a Logic Knot. Well, let's try to electrolyze this Goblin Guide. We're dead to another Atarka's Command anyway, so we might as well get the free trigger and hope for the best. Basically, we're so far behind, we can't really play around anything, so we might as well play every card in a way to give us the most value possible. More Logic Knots. Um, well, that's Serum Visions. Thought Scour, Island to the bottom, Desperate Ravings. We gotta hit a Bolt just to stay alive, and we do not. Alright, to the sideboard. Well, we mulliganed, kept a really bad hand, and our opponent had a pretty uh, pretty solid draw, so... And they were on the play, most importantly. I think this is an okay matchup. Go down... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I can really say it's an okay matchup, but I don't think it's as bad of a matchup as it looked there. Our opponent had a very good draw on the play, and we were just a bit slow. Um, is Staticaster worth it? Or do it, we might just want Angers? Let's bring in the Angers, bring in the Dispel, and I think we're going to cut Remands. I don't really like Remand against Burn since all their spells are so cheap they just get to play it again. Alright, we get to play first. And this hand is much, much better. We don't have turn one removal, but I like this hand. So Island and Serum Visions. We draw an Island, we have a Mountain. We don't really want another Mountain. I think we're going to put Negate to the bottom too. We have enough counters. There's a mountain for our opponent and a goblin guide. I guess we could have left a land on top in hopes that that worked out. All right, we get a land anyway, so that's fine. Down to 18. Play a mountain, pass the turn. Leave up mana leak and desperate ravings. We can't really let our opponent resolve an Eidolon, so we gotta counter that if it happens. Another land off the goblin guide. We would like two desperate ravings if we had a chance. Alright, we'll take the Lava Spike hit. And then we will Desperate Ravings. Oh god, we discarded a real card and drew more lands. Holy lands. Alright, play an Island. Pass the turn. Down to ten with another Lightning Bolt. Discard one of our many lands. Sacred Foundry for our opponent. Tax with the Goblin Guide. No land, a lightning bolt. Well, let's electrolyze the goblin guide. Draw a bolt. Hope our opponent's hand is not too awesome. 
Boros Charm down to six. Yeah, that's pretty good. And opponent passes. Well, let's play a Mountain Pass a turn. We got Double Bolt to take care of creatures, but we might just lose two spells. Stomping Grounds, untapped. Well, let's rave. Please don't discard Mana Leak. Just discard an Island. Be nice for once. Another Boros Charm. Well, we are going to Mana Leak that. If our opponent has two more Lightning Bolts, then they got us. Well, we have one Lightning Bolt. Down to three. We stop Boros Charm. Desperate Ravings. Give us some love. We discard a Lightning Bolt. Well, as odd as it sounds, Swiftwater Cliffs is actually good here. <laughs> we go up to four, so we're not dead to one Lightning Bolt. So pass the turn. We... Oh, this is going to be challenging, though. Opponents passing. Well, let's Thought Scour ourselves. Seems like a fairly challenging matchup. Uh, we get another Bolt. Untap, get an Electrolyze. Play an Island. I guess we just pass. I don't know what else we can really do here. Opponent untaps. Plays in the Coddle. That's fine. Well, let's Rave. We really would like to find more counters. Discard a Bolt, get an Electrolyze. Play an Island. If we can find our extra turn spell, that might let us win. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Plays a Goblin Guide. Well, hopefully our opponent does not have a Tarka's Command. Goes to combat. Attacks with both. We get an Island. Well, one, two, three. Electrolyze the Goblin Guide. Draw a card. There's Trespass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then both the Nicotle. If our opponent doesn't have two burn spells, we might be able to win next turn, as odd as that sounds. So I guess we'll see. Another Trespass. Well, Island, we gotta go for it. Play Metallurgic Summonings. If our opponent has four points of instant speed damage, we are dead. And they very well could. Skullcrack to one. Alright, we're at one. Let's see. Go for Temporal Trespass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Get an 11, 11. You got the bolt. All right, we get an extra turn. I think we're actually going to win this game. Untap for our extra turn. Attack with our construct. Put our opponent to five. Thought scour ourselves. Get a 1-1. One, one. And a logic knot. Play an island. How much mana do we need for this? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We even get to leave up Logic Knot X1, get another extra turn, untap, and that should do it, boys and girls. Was stabilized at one life, got the summonings down, even beating Burn here in game two. Well, yikes. That was a reasonable Burn hand, too. I'm still not excited about this matchup since we don't have life gain, but... We, we won a game against Burn, which is encouraging. Um, all right, this is slightly awkward, but we can try it. We have a couple counters. We get to gain a life, which could be relevant, I guess. Ooh, tap land. That is good news. Well, I think we're just going to island in Serm Visions on turn one. Hopefully find a land. We draw an island. Serm Visions, mountain. Uh, let's draw the mountain first, but leave Serm Visions on top. And pass the turn. Bloodstained Mire for our opponent. Cracks it. Gets a Stomping Grounds. And just Boros Charms our face. Sure. We are very okay with that. Play the Mountain. Leave up our stuff. Pass the turn. I'm actually kind of feeling good about where we're at right here, as odd as that sounds. Lightning Bolts our face. Well, let's just counter that. Save some damage while we can. And Rift Bolt suspended. Untap. What's our plan here? We're going to take three from Rift Bolt, but our opponent only has three cards in hand. Now uh, let's just play the island and pass the turn for now. I guess we could counter Rift Bolt with Logic Knot, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we can take three. This leaves up Electrolyze if our opponent has a hasty creature. Our opponent pretty clearly has three spells in hand since they didn't play a land. But 13 is not a bad life total. All right, there's a land. Opponent's going to pass. Okay. Well, let's 
play Shivan Reef, play Serum Visions. There's a Summonings, and I think we're going to keep Mana Leak, but put Island to the bottom. Island to the bottom, Mana Leak to the top, pass the turn. Boros Charm to nine. Two cards in our opponent's hand. Okay, down to nine. We can go back up to ten from Swiftwater Cliffs. Wild Nicodle for our opponent. And Eidolon of the Great Revels. All right, let's just Ravings with that on the stack. Hopefully don't discard Anger. All right, we keep Anger. Discard the Mana Leak, that's fine. Draw a Desolate Lighthouse. So let's play Desolate Lighthouse, spend a life, anger the gods. We're down to six, but we get rid of both of our opponent's creatures. And we still have a counter up. So pass the turn. Another Eidolon. Um, yeah, we got to counter this one, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Counter Eidolon. Opponent passes. We play Swiftwater Cliffs, go up to seven. Do we just go Shields Down Summonings? I really want to. At seven, they need a very specific... Oh, it's so risky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's wait one more turn. We can leave up Is It Charm this turn. Next turn, we can Summonings and leave up Is It Charm. So I think this is safer. And we can always cycle... Yeah, there's Goblin Guide. So we need to kill Goblin Guide after seeing if we get a land. So we can electrolyze the Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide reveals an island. Well, blue, loot house, red. Electrolyze Goblin Guide. These Shivan Reefs are painful. Opponent goes to Tarka's Command. Well, one, two. We got to pay a life, unfortunately. But counter a Tarka's Command. Kill Goblin Guy, draw a card. Ooh, it's a Thought Scour. All right. So now we got to go Shields down. Um, play the island. One, two, three, four, five. Play Metallurgic Summonings. Pass the turn. Hope our opponent doesn't draw anything awesome here and that we find more counters. All right. Helix, our face down to three. Well, let's Thought Scour ourselves. Get a 1-1. One, one. Draw an island. We really need a temporal trespass or a counter spell. Electrolyze. Well, let's ravings. Get a 2-2. Two, two. Draw a bolt. All right, well, get in for one. We have to fade a burn spell this one turn by the looks. If we can fade a burn spell one turn, we should be able to win next turn. Destructive Revelry on Summonings. Well, one, two, three. Electrolyze our opponent's face, draw a card, get a three, three. Now we might not win next turn. See what we draw into. A Ravings. Then we Ravings, get a two, two. Bolt, bolt. All right, we're down to one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does this do it? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Whoa, yes. We, oh no. We're short of red source. Oh, we can't tap Shivan Reef. Our budget duel is ruining us. Oh. Oh my god, so what do we do now? We can ravings and hope we find a mountain? So let's bolt our opponent's face. Bolt our opponent's face. Oh, all right. One, two, three. Flashback desperate ravings. We got there. We drew a mountain. Play the mountain. We kept our bolt. Yes! <laughs> oh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes Desperate Ravings actually pays off. Thanks to drawing all these budget duels, Shiv and Reef. So we would have 
I mean, we got a little lucky to draw that other bolt. That was the lucky part. If we were playing a non-budget deck, we likely would have not had Shivan Reef, so that wouldn't have been a concern. But we got there anyway, so... Holy! Even beating Burn. Blue, red, summonings.